Well, this morning, our service theme is in the topic of morning war seeking shalom. And this is, oh, I'm seeing a pro. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Um, this is a very different kind of service. Um, we'll be having um, a lot of our traditional elements will be through kind of the first and the, the, the beginning and the ending will be more of what we normally do. In the middle, there'll be some very different pieces. Um, but as we enter into this time, just encourage everyone to take a deep breath. We've, this last week for many of us, has been a really challenging time. Sometimes entering into the space of Shabbat is not easy during times like this. And so uh, just take a deep breath. Know that this is Shabbat, that at this moment we have no other place to be, nowhere else to go. This is our time to be together. Also, would encourage folks if you we would love to have uh, if anyone would love if, if folks would like to uh, join us for some of these readings. We'd love to have uh, folks take turns doing the readings. So, uh, would anyone like to unmute themselves and do this first reading? Hine Matov. I can do that. Okay. Hine How good are the dwellings where we gather? Secret, of serene and vibrant as the gardens by the river, the aloes and the pleasant cedar tree beside the water. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for people to dwell together in harmony. Do you want a second for that? And then I'll, <laughs> I'll go ahead and, and sing this, but encourage folks to, if you want to mute yourselves, but please sing along. My tune is sad. Shevet Amim Gam Yakam. And who would like to read this one? Uh, starting with on the who would like to read the English side? I'll read that. And we humanity choose to keep a day of rest as an agreement for all time, for in six days we work, and on the seventh we cease from work and are refreshed. Do we have anyone who would like to read the Hebrew side? Actually, we, we can, can think Okay. The Shomrim B'nei Et HaShabbat Lassot Et hashabam le dor tumber hit o holam vishram rim benayadam et hashabat la sot et hashabat le dor tumber hit o holam ki sheshet yamim asu melaka asu melaka vishram rim uh Da dun da dun dun da da dun vishram rim bene adam het hashabat la sot het shahashabat let or tumber it all am vishram rim bene adam bene adam et hashabat le sot et hashabat from rim Bene Adam het hashabat la sot et hashabat le dor tumber it olam le dor tumber it olam ber it olam uva yom hashvi shav tu settings taken care of from rim. Bene Adam het hashabat la sot het hashabat le dor tumber it olam. Now I'm going to take just a moment and turn off the screen share. I can get back over to that. Ah, oh, there we go. I encourage you to take a moment to look at and on the pictures of everyone uh, who's on on camera today. 
and to just wish them uh, good intentions and to just just take this moment to appreciate that we're all together in community, even though we're across the world, literally. We have folks from Panama, from Europe, uh, from Australia, from North America, and just embracing the miracle that we're all together and technology and all the, the, the human beings, frankly, that, that came together to make it possible for us to be together today. Let me go back to the share screen. So we bless the community which blesses us. Blessed is the community which blesses us forever and ever. Would someone who um, can can speak can uh, read Hebrew? Would someone like to read the the Hebrew side? Sure. <laughs> Baruch HaKakara, Amvirach, Le'olam Vahed. And now we have our, our version of the Shema. Who would like to, to read this? Listen, Israel, our people are one. Humanity is one. Let us work together to improve this world. Shema Yisrael, Echad Amenu, Adam Mekad. Kulanu Navod Letakein, Et Haolam Hazeh. And would someone like to read the Ve'avta? And let us love our fellow as ourselves with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our might. And let these words be always upon our hearts. And would someone like to, to read or sing the, uh, the, the Hebrew? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Impressing them upon our children, reciting them when we stay at home and when we go out, when we lie down and when we get up, binding them as signs in our hand, serving as a symbol on our forehead, inscribing them on the doorpost of our homes. And would someone like to read the Hebrew, oh, on the doorpost of our homes and on our gates. Would someone like to read the Hebrew side? Okay, I'll do it if no one else is coming forth. Thank you. bevetenu. <laughs> Lechtenu, Vaderach, Ushakbenu, Ufkumenu, Ukshartam la Ot al Yadenu, the Hayu la Tota Fot, Bain Enenu, Uchtavtam al Mizuzot, Betenu, Ubisharenu. This we believe to be true. Humankind is capable of redeeming itself from its troubles. Through our efforts, we heal disease, feed the hungry, lift up and free the downtrodden. We can achieve liberation through reason, compassion, and working together with trust in one another, with faith of a better future for all. Blessed is the light and humanity with which we redeem the world. Now I'm going to stop the screen share for a few minutes. Um, we'll take a moment of silent reflection before we go on. Uh, the next part of our service is going to start on a little bit of a heavier note, but then we'll, we'll um, over it change a little bit, but just take a moment to reflect on what we just read, this idea that that we do believe that humans are possible, that are capable of making the world better, and with the implications of that.
I'm now going to turn the screen share back on for this next part. So this will be a pretty big change of tone, but I wanted this today's service. Our themes are mourning war and seeking shalom. And so this for this first part, I want to take a moment to um, just appreciate in some way the gravity of what's happened in this last week. The first thing I wanted to, sh to, to share was just a, a sense of the numbers of of uh, of who of who has been killed and wounded in Israel. And these are the latest numbers as of this morning. Over fourteen hundred have been killed, four thousand eight hundred thirty four wounded. An estimated two hundred twelve were abducted. Two of them have been released, uh, thank goodness. And there's between one and two hundred missing in the Gaza Strip. It's estimated that 4,385 have been killed and 13,000 wounded. Inside Israel, it's estimated that 1,000 of the Hamas militants were killed. In the West Bank, it's estimated that 81 have been killed and 300 wounded. In Lebanon, an estimated 28 to 30 have been killed. And then depending on whose estimates you believe, uh, Around a million Palestinians thus far have been displaced in Gaza, and some reports say that up to 500,000 Israelis have been displaced, mostly in the south of the country. I also wanted to share this morning, we have the names of those who have been taken hostage in Israel. I'm not going to read their names because I'm not confident uh, pronouncing them correctly, but I just wanted to show their names on screen as as a, remember, as a remembrance of, of what these folks are dealing with and our, and our hopes that they will be returned safely. So I'm going to scroll through these just for just a moment here. And so in remembrance of these of these people, of all of those who have been killed and wounded in the coming days, we have this um, this reflection, this uh, uh, liturgical uh, point of remembrance. And this is something Martin put together. So what I'd like to do is um, like to have have a couple of volunteers to take turns reading like this first paragraph here would be in English. And then someone would read the side in Hebrew, then then go back to the English on one side, the Hebrew on the other. Um, would um, let's do um, would there be a couple of people that would volunteer one to do the English side, one to do the Hebrew side? I'll happily do the English. Okay, awesome. And I'll, I'll do the I'll Hebrew if nobody else. That'd be great, Phyllis. Thank you. I, by the way, I appreciate okay. your patience with my Hebrew. It's not so great. So I appreciate that you can do the Hebrew better than me. Yeah. So. so go ahead then for, for whoever wants who is doing the, the, the English side. May his memory be peaceful. May his resting place be peaceful. And let all the congregation whose community say, may peace come and may his memory be for a blessing. For a blessing. Zikaron shalom to he zikarono. Ravitsat shalom to he ravitsato. Be imru kol kahal adato. Yavo shalom zikrono livarach livracha. Alas, his presence was suddenly gone. Eulogize him, all the people of his household, and let all the congregation of his community say, May peace come and may his memory be for a blessing. Oi ki pitom bishlila shechinato 
Sifdulo anshe veto, the imru kol kechal adato, yavo shalom zikrono livracha. As it is written, and those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky above, and those who turn away to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Kakatuv. The Hamas Kirin Yaz Hiru Kizahar Harakia Umats DK Arabim Kako Havim Leolam Bed. Amen. I now have a, uh, let's see. We now have a poem, uh, and this was a really powerful one um, that I came across in preparing for today. So we're going to play this. Um, this is from a um, oh, an out uh, street festival thing, but it was where poetry was happening in public space. Entire. So I'm going to turn off the screen share for a moment um, for this next uh, piece. And this is one I'm going to sing. But what I'm going to do is put the I meant to do a slide for this and I didn't do it. So I'm going to put the lyrics in the chat because I think they're pretty powerful. And I'm going to welcome you if you'd like to, you know, of course, with 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 mute on. But we encourage you to sing along if you'd like, because this is a powerful, powerful song. Um, that expresses just the gravity of, of war. Oh, it's not letting me post something that long. Let me do it in chunks. Okay, there was there are the lyrics. So. If the war goes on and the children die of hunger and the old men weep, for the young men are no more and the women learn how to dance without a partner who will keep the score. If the war goes on and the truth is taken hostage and new terrors lead to the need to euphemize when the calls for peace are declared unpatriotic will expose the lie. If the war goes on and the daily bread is terror and the voiceless poor take the road as refugees when a nation's pride destines millions to be homeless, who will heed their plea? If the war goes on and the rich increase their fortunes and the arms sell sore as new weapons are displayed when a fertile field turns to no man's land tomorrow will approve such trade. If the war goes on Will we close the doors to heaven if the war goes on? Will we breach the gates of hell if the war goes on? Will we ever be forgiven if the war goes on?
now wanted to take a few minutes here um, in this space of mourning war uh, to open up some space for us to, for us to share. Um, I know a lot of folks are impacted in different ways by what's happened in the last week, um, and so you know a lot of some of us may have friends, uh, family that may be affected in different ways. Uh, we may know people in our community who are affected, uh, but I want to give some space now for us to share a little bit about uh, how 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 we're affected, and we'll have about five ten minutes for this. Changing tone a little bit again, and now we're moving to the second piece, the seeking shalom. And admittedly, at this moment, this feels more aspirational than real, real, but we have to start somewhere. So I have two different songs I'm going to be playing um, for our next piece. So kind of um, to close this part of our service, uh, we have uh, one of our, our our liturgical readings, we'll call it, <laughs> instead of a prayer. Uh, but this is, I think, is, is, is a pretty appropriate one. Let us make peace in the world. Let us make peace for us, for all of Israel, and for all of humanity. And we say, Amen. Nahase shalom bahulam. Nase shalom aleinu ve'alko Yisrael ve'alko Yoshev Tevu ve'noma ve'noma We now turn our minds and hearts towards those who need our love, who are ill, who are lonely, who suffer, suffer pain or have been wronged. Let us pause as we call out their names. Moses Mast. And also feel free to put the names in the chat too, if you'd prefer. Michelle Jacoby and Jack Marvin. Karen, Karen Preston. Q. Gildia. In the chat, we have the names of Rosary, uh, Jerry, and Phil. May all who suffer know they are not alone. May they experience Rafua Shalema, the renewal of body and spirit. Mekom Hakoak Betokenu Mekorot Habraka Meke Rotenu. May the source of strength that dwells so deep within us help, help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. And now I invite you to stand if you're able to for our, for our version of it. Oh, before we do that, actually, um, if there are names that, we, that anyone would like to remember today, please either say them out loud or put them in the chat. I'm remembering Rex Friend and Sadie Mast this morning. Linda Andre was in the chat. Let us stand. May there be a good remembrance and compassion and kindness and love from all the world upon the names of our honorable loved ones who have passed from the world. Let us make a place in our hearts to remember their good names, a good memory, and let us honor them with good deeds. May their memory be a blessing forever. Amen. Would there be someone who would like to read the Hebrew side? Hina Zik 
Kron Tov, Bechesed, Barachamin, Vachava, Micho Haolam, Mashimot, Amehu Vade, Ukarenu, Shavarim, Min Haolam, Hava Ninsor, Beli Benu, Et Shemot, Hatovim, Bezikram, Hatov, Benikram, the Maasim Tovim, Zikram, the Bracha, Leolam, Ed, Amen. Amen. And now it's time for our version of the Elena. It is a part, actually, would someone like to read the English side, please? I can read it. <clears throat> it is upon us to praise the beauty of the world, even as we fall and rise up, and to continue the work of repairing the world. For within us is the power to build and repair, and it is in our hands to bring about liberation. And one day, humanity will be united and one in purpose. Someone like like to like to 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 sing or say this in Hebrew. Aleinu l'shabeach afliach gratuia nifo v'la amol letikon alam ki be ki bechachenu ivnot ula chapin uviyadenu lachazmiach keula. Thank you, thank you. And now it is time for the Kiddush. So if you have wine or any other beverage you'd like to bless and enjoy together, now's our time. Raise our glass. The sixth day, and on the seventh day, we complete the labor which we perform, and we refrain on the seventh day from all our labor. And we bless the seventh day and set it aside, for, for we refrain from all the labor which we have to do. Yom hashishishi betka bayom hashvi'i hamaleyaka asher ne esta vatishbot bayom hashvi'i kol Hamelaka asher nea esta. Navarek et yom hashvi'i van kadesh oto. Kivo shavatanu. Niko hamelaka asher barkanu la asot. Savri kabarim vekabarot. Attention, friends, and we raise our glasses some more. Baruch haor bakayim bore pori hagafen. And we all say together, Amen. And Lahayim. And now, if you have bread handy, it's time for Hamotri. We get mine out real quick. And so let us lift up our bread and we say, Blessed are those that bring forth bread from the from the earth. Berukim Hamotzim Lakem Min Haretz. Amen. And our final, our final um, words. Does someone like to to read this one, please? I'll get the bed on the screen. Let us bless life, the power that is within. Let us give thanks for the good things which we have. Praise be the good friend, because they always help us. Praise love, for it is good, and let friendship endure forever. Let us bless life. First, for our ethics that bind our people with goodness continuously. Praise be the good friend, because they always help us. Praise life, for it is good, and let health endure forever. Bless this house, a home to friendship, where we keep this festival with joy and permanence. Praise love, for it is good, and let friendship endure forever. Amen. Amen. Well, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I'm going to turn off the screen share now, and we. I just want to thank everyone for for this. This this was a really good time together. We'll have we'll leave the uh, Zoom open for a while. Folks want to continue to talk, uh, but. Uh,